today I got a treat for you guys. My buddy Carl got a 69 Nova. Buddy, welcome back to another classic sir better i'm travis this is carl's new 69 nova this thing is pretty sweet y'all it is definitely an eight or nine out of ten it's got a small block 350 with a turbo 350 transmission but sitting nice on some old torque thrust can't go wrong with a 69 nova guys What's neat is the vinyl top is actually still really good on this thing. It's got a couple little marks uh, where it could use a little bit of loving. Or see right over here on the door. Got a little bit of stuff from the paint job or whatever. But it's so hard to find these with a decent vinyl top. Got a whole bunch of rot right there on the rear window seam or anything like that. Again, the interior is in really good shape for the age of everything. And he was telling me, so this is a respray. It's not the factory color. This thing came in red, but I don't know if it's showing up. This deep purple's really got a ton of flake in it or pearl, whatever you want to call it. Looks really good to a guy like me. I love this thing. All right, so here's the 350 motor. So it is not exactly cutting edge tech, but this one is still peppy and super fun to drive around on the weekends. So pretty clean engine bay it does have headers got power steering got power brakes just a nice little cruiser y'all let's rocking disc brakes up front drum in the back a whole lot of go i will say when talking about old cars and stuff like this guys a lot of these old things only come with a bill of sale no title anything like that generally it's not an issue sometimes it is yeah the quick story on this one guys is he actually saw it on marketplace like many of us do thought it was a killer steal of a deal so went out there talked to the guy seemed legit got it for a good price and then when he went to do the title he found out that it had a lien on it from a collections place so that was a whole other adventure he had to go through to get this thing all sorted out which he did so now he's got a clear title but it just goes to show you guys even if you buy and sell and flip stuff all the time sometimes things can sneak up and get you so just try and do as much due diligence as you can protect yourself from a big headache later on this thing can scoot let's go for a ride
guys need a good weekend, get you a classic car or truck, go cruising through the Texas backcountry. Can't go wrong. She's one wheeling, but dang, that laid down a nice one. <laughs> oh yeah, love that smell. Oh man, can't go wrong with that. Smiles all around. She'll smoke that one tire, no problem. While cruising, we saw something we might need to check out. So we might get a little bonus vehicle on this one. Not finding a back road to burn out on. We found a really cool old truck, so let's go uh, check it out. This homie likes these 55s. What do you think that's like a 56? Yeah, it does have 55 grill. Check it out. This is how you find cool stuff, y'all. You drive around until you see old things with a for sale sign. Ah, oh, you're right, it was a 55. 55 Chevy, five grand, y'all. Call Javi. Oh, it's got like a like vet lights in the back. It was like semi truck. Like trailer lights. Trailer lights, yeah. Custom roll panel. Still got the six lug. Is there an interior? The oh, it's an interior light. I'm going cover my hand. Doors don't look too bad. Oh, sharp. No, it's still looking good. 195.15s. The bottom of the, uh, the cab over here is totally rotted out though you see the the bottom of the cab corner I don't know oh there's no bed floor either huh. the uh, diff is like encased that's interesting neat old truck though might be a little overpriced for what's in there but they don't make them anymore <laughs> all right y'all thank you guys for hanging out checking out carl's new 69 nova this thing is pretty sweet for while he has it and hopefully he'll get something else cool that i can show you guys pretty soon too but get out there get wrenching my friends until the next time have a good one